For this test, I'm going to talk to you about something known as the seated forward flexion test. Now, this is a, a human pelvis that was donated to me. So when we do the test, this is looking for potentially sacroiliac joint dysfunction. The validity of this test is quite poor, but basically it's like one test of many that will just give you some information. So when we do the test, we would palpate the posterior superior iliac spine with our thumbs, left and right side, and then from this position, we would get the patient to place their hands onto the mid thigh and slowly flex forward. Now, because the innominate bones are fixed and the legs are out of the equation, potentially the thought process is that if the sacrum is fixated to the innominate bone, so it's an SI joint fixation, either on the left or on the right side, potentially that side will go more cephalic, more towards the head side. Okay? So what you're looking for is a superior motion of the PSIS on the side of dysfunction. Now, when we palpate Afterwards, let's say for instance the left side goes forward, and I did this test earlier as I'll show you, and the left side went forward. If we palpate it into the sacral sulcus, which is in this area in here, in a prone position, and then this side was deep, then what could happen is that the sacrum could be in a position where the left side is fixed in a nutation position, but is rotated to the right. So it's called a right on right forward sacral torsion. However, if you palpated the left side and it's more shallow, then potentially the sacrum has rotated to the left. So now it's rotated in a counter nutation on the left side and is known as a left on a right sacral torsion. So quite complex, but what it does, it just gives you some information which would then lead to some validity later on as you're going through some other testing. So let's run through the test. So it's quite a simplistic test. We get a patient to sit. We can just make sure that the top of the iliac crest is level because if he had something called an upslip which is an iliosacral upslip where the innominate on that side has gone up then obviously his ischial tuberosity is not going to be equal when they sit in so we might have to correct that first before we, we look at the SI joint. So what we do we find the PSIS and we come inferior to the PSIS so I normally sit and drop down to that level and then my patient's hands are on a mid thigh. Sean, when you're ready, can you bring your chin down to the chest and slump as far as you comfortably can, please? And what we're looking for is motion of one side in respect to the other side. If I come under again, I'm not sure if you can see this, but the left side has slightly gone more in a cephalic direction towards the head than the right side. Okay, come back up again. But I'm not convinced there was actually much motion here. So we're going to do that one again. So I'm going to come under and off you go again. Okay. So equally motion, but the left side slightly. Okay, so I'm not saying it's that positive, but if the right thumb was inferior and the left one was more cephalic, then that might be classified as a more positive test. And again, if it's deep, they'll be rotated to the right on the right axis. And if it's left shallow, it will be rotated left on the right axis. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.